Starting in about 2005, Perry and I went around and tried to explain Kickstarter to people. Keep in mind it was just a concept and we got a lot of blank faces. Um, we really struggled to get people excited about it with the exception of our friends and artists who immediately saw this need. But when we talked to business people, uh, they didn't see it at all. There was just this notion of, well, there's plenty of art and creative stuff in the world. Why is there an issue with funding? But we have this weird relationship with creativity and with cultural products, whether it's an iPhone case or an album, where it, sim it simply seems to magically exist, but we don't think about how it got there. And that's largely ignored because people are focused on how to sell and exploit the finished works, because that's how you make money. But this notion of where things come from in the first place, how you support inspiration, how you give it a path to existence, is something that we didn't see other people focusing on, but something that consumed us. So here we are, coming up on the five-year anniversary of Kickstarter, a billion dollars to creative projects from over five million people, and over 60,000 things that have been successfully funded are now existing or coming into existence in the world. But the history of this system is actually much, much longer. Uh, if you go all the way back to the 15th and 16th century, you really see the first Kickstarter projects. Arguably the first one was the first translation of the Iliad into English by Alexander Pope. Uh, it was in Greek, he had this idea that he wanted to translate to English some 16,000 lines of poetry, and so he reached out to 700 people, backers, uh, who gave him money so he could have the time to print this. And the very first edition of the Iliad featured these lists of names in the front. So on the, the geologic scale of creativity and cultural production, community-based funding, people working together to create things, has been the dominant form. It's only in the past 125 years that large corporations decide to commoditize and subsidize art for reasons of making money. And so that really made this other model dormant and Kickstarter has really brought it back to the fore. And what's exciting about this is that this is not going to go away. This is a system that's too effective, that allows too many people to have a say and answers I think a lot of core human desires where we all get to have a say in the culture that exists around us. I think in five years the world will look a lot more like Kickstarter that you're not going through a gatekeeper, that, that innovation is not being defined by a boardroom. It's defined by people who actually know and understand these things. And it's not just in the sense of giving you money and I get the product when it's done. It's also helping with the design. Someone puts up a design for some Arduino board and some commenters are like, hey, if you move this circuit over to the right, you'll find it works a whole lot better. And we see those things happen all the time. So for things like things in the world of hardware and technology, we ask those creators to show their work. Don't just show the, the finished beautiful rendering, show the actual thing with the wire sticking out of it. It's more honest. You're treating people as peers. If you look at something like the iPhone, the most exciting innovation that we've seen in forever, you know, Steve Jobs held that up one day and we saw it for the first time. We, we didn't see how that came to be the 10 or 15 years they spent thinking about it. If you look at a Kickstarter project, you see every phase of it. Something like the Pebble, they were posting videos from the factory floor in Shenzhen and showed what it was like to make a watch face and how these whole things worked. And you learned what the global supply chain was. And to me, that transparency that Kickstarter brings about is one of the things that we're most proud of because people having a greater understanding of where things come from uh, educates the public and I think creates a better appreciation for the things that we use. When I go into a bookstore and see a book there that was funded on Kickstarter, or I go to a, see a movie that was funded on Kickstarter, or see trailers, or go into the Apple store and see a whole shelf of things that were made on Kickstarter, uh, that's incredible because it's not really about us. It's about us being a tool and a conduit for these things to happen. It's purely democratic, uh, and it's simply almost a measurement of love uh, that's out there for inspiration, for creativity, and these types of things.